Good morning and welcome to the Prime Cab Daily. It's Friday the 9th of November. Uh, we've been in the office early this morning dealing with a Spanish property vendor, or rather someone selling their house in Spain. Um, hour ahead as they are, they thought that it would be important to get a, gr a grasp of what to tell their bank and before transmitting their euros to us. Nice of them, but an early start. Annoyingly, when you hear headlines like the UK will be the slowest economy of the 28 EU states over the next two years, you can sort of understand why the pound has lost as much as it has against the US dollar. So um, pre this suggestion that the deal with the EU was about 95% done, the pound was about 1.29 or well, less than 1.3 to the pound. It then shot up to well in excess of 1.31. This was earlier on this week. Now it finds, it finds itself hovering just above the 1.3 mark. So is it the case that folks, institutions and investors around the world are getting bored? Are they getting bored of, of seeing nothing really? I mean, there's a junior minister who's come out and told the Funk group of newspapers that, the, uh, that there's a deal imminent, that the UK is really keen on doing one. Um, pound remains at 1.1446 against the euro, which is nice, welcome. More headlines about the demise of the UK high street are uh, animating the broadsheets um, this morning. It's a bit of a shame. We aren't really going to be talking to our clients about much other than taking advantage of this improvement in the value of the pound. So in terms of the sort of news and views that you can use <laughs> today, um, it is that story. It's the fact that the pound is a cent and a half higher than its sort of rolling average for the last three months. If you are an importer, you would do well to consider buying whatever euro denominated stock you need um, uh, before we get into you know, the end of the month and, and moving into December. Uh, I wonder, retail sales headlines, um, talk about consumers and, and their spending over Christmas is gonna be really important for the UK. And if it is down, and there is no deal, and there's been a suggestion that the EU deal will slip back into December, if that, so if they keep on kicking the can, um, then you could see actually a bit of a torrid time for the pound. That'll be great for those who have euros that they need to sell, but not so good for importers who need to sort of react quickly to demand from their customer base. Thank you very much. End of the week, um, maybe a little bit of window dressing going on from some fund, some fund managers or some fiduciary managers, um, but it's not the end of the month yet, so uh, I wouldn't expect that to animate the rates of exchange to any great extent, please do tune in on Monday and bon chance.